In this video, we are going to find the inverse Laplace transforms of the given function. Number one, suppose I'm given three over s squared plus four, and I want to find the inverse Laplace transform of that. We know that the Laplace transform of sine of kt is k over s squared plus k squared. So I want to try and work backwards. Start with three over s squared plus four. This is equal to 3 times 1 over s squared plus 2 squared. And so I want k to equal 2. But I'm missing a 2 in the numerator. But that's okay. I could put that in. So I'm going to multiply the numerator by 2. And then I'm going to take 3 and then divide it by 2. So it's like multiplying by 1. And so this is equal to 3 halves times 2 over s squared plus 2 squared. So what I want to do is I want to take the inverse Laplace transform of 3 over s squared plus 4. That's what this here says. But I claim that that's equal to 3 halves times the inverse Laplace transform of 2 over s squared plus 2 squared. So you notice k is equal to 2, and then it takes on this form that I'm circling here. So when I take the inverse Laplace transform of 2 over s squared plus 2 squared, I get sine of 2t, because remember, k is 2. So 3 halves times the inverse Laplace transform of 2 over s squared plus 2 squared is equal to 3 halves sine of 2t. So that's how example 1 works. Example 2. Uh, suppose I'm given 2 over s squared plus 3s minus 4. So this is a classic partial fraction decomposition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 2 over s squared plus 3s minus 4 and this is equal to 2 over s plus 4 times s minus 1. Now, using partial fractions, this is equal to a over s plus 4 plus b over s minus 1. So 2 is equal to as minus a plus bs plus 4b. That's right here. So if I take a and I add it to b, I have to get 0 because you can think of this as 0s plus 2. So there's 0s's on the left side. And then if I take negative a and I add 4b, I get 2 back. So when I solve, I get b equals 2 fifths and a equals negative 2 fifths. So it turns out that 2 over s squared plus 3s minus 4 is negative 2 fifths over s plus 4 plus 2 fifths over s minus 1. So we're looking good. Now we know that the Laplace transform of e to the at is 1 over s minus a. That's a very, very standard Laplace transform that we do need to know. So now we're going to work backwards. The inverse Laplace transform of 2 over s squared plus 3s minus 4 is the inverse Laplace transform of negative 2 fifths over s plus 4 plus 2 fifths over s minus 1, which is the inverse Laplace transform of negative 2 fifths over s plus 4 plus the inverse Laplace transform of 2 fifths over s minus 1. <coughs> Now, I'm going to pull those constants out in front of the inverse Laplace transforms. And so we get negative 2 fifths times the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus 4 plus 2 fifths times the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 1. I'm done. So if we look at this first piece, a is negative 4. And if we look at the second piece, a is 1. And so 
then it just becomes writing it down. So essentially, you look at the original formula, the Laplace transform of e to the at is 1 over s minus a. Now we get to work backwards. And so, again, in the first piece, a is negative 4. In the second piece, a is 1. So the final answer should be negative 2 fifths e to the negative 4t plus 2 fifths e to the t. Let's take a look at example three. <clears throat> Suppose we had 2s plus 2 over s squared plus 2s plus 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the square. So I'm going to factor a 2 out of the numerator, and I'm going to get 2 times s plus 1 over s squared plus 2s plus 1 plus 4. 5 is just nothing more than 1 plus 4. But if you look at those first three terms, that's a perfect square. So I can write that as 2 times s plus 1 divided by s plus 1 squared plus 4. So the inverse Laplace transform of 2s plus 2 over s plus 1 squared plus 4 is the inverse Laplace transform of 2 times the quantity s plus 1 divided by s plus 1 squared plus 4. So I'm going to take this 2 and pull it out in front of the inverse Laplace transform. And when I do, I get 2 times the inverse Laplace transform of s plus 1 over s plus 1 squared plus 4. So in this example, a is negative 1 and k is equal to 2 because remember, 2 squared is 4. And I'll show you where that comes in in a minute. Mm. So this is equal to 2e to the negative t times cosine of 2t, right? So in other words, let's go back. Now, we know, by the way, that the Laplace transform of, and I'll say it this way, it's e to the at cosine of kt. So I'm going to box this off a little tiny bit here. And this is equal to the following. You're going to get s minus a divided by. And then in the denominator, we're going to get s minus a squared plus k squared. So and we can derive that. It's actually not that bad to derive. So that's what I was aiming for in this problem or example three. So it takes on that form. A is negative one, K is two. And so I'm just uh, inputting that in and I get two E to the negative T cosine of two T. And so what that tells me is that the inverse Laplace transform of 2s plus 2 over s squared plus 2s plus 5 is equal to 2e to the negative t cosine of 2t, and we're all set. Now, if we take a look at 2s plus 1 over s squared minus 2s plus 2, we're going to do something similar. So this is equal to 2s plus 1 over s minus 1 squared plus 1. And I'm trying to manipulate the numerator so that I get a factor of s minus 1. So in order to do that, I have to rewrite 1 as negative 2 plus 3. So in other words, <clears throat> I get 2s minus 2 plus 3 over s minus 1 squared plus 1. So 2s plus 1 over s minus 1 squared plus 1 is 2 times the quantity s minus 1 over s minus 1 squared plus 1 plus 3 divided by s minus 1 squared plus 1. So let's write that on the next page. So we're going to get 2s plus 1 over s minus 1 squared and then we have plus 1, right, is 
2 times s minus 1 divided by s minus 1 squared plus 1 plus 3 over s minus 1 squared plus 1. And so I'm going to take the inverse Laplace transform of 2s plus 1 divided by s minus 1 squared plus 1. Okay. Now, what I get is the following. I, I claim that I'm going to get 2 times the inverse Laplace transform of s minus 1 over s minus 1 squared plus 1 plus 3 times the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 1 squared plus 1. Just like this. Okay. Now, over here, if we look at this first term, we get a equals 1, k equals 1. And so this is equal to 2 e to the uh, a, and I, I can go, go ahead and put the a, e to the 1t cosine of 1t, okay, plus 3. Now, I'm going to use a different Laplace transform for the next one. For the next one, you're going to get the following. You're going to get 3e to the 1t sine of 1t. And pretty much I'm done. So if you want, you can factor out an e to the t and write this as e to the t times the quantity cosine of t plus 3 sine t. And I'm finished. So the inverse Laplace transform of 2s plus 1 over s squared minus 2s plus, that should say 2, is equal to e to the t times. And then if you notice in brackets, we get 2 cosine t plus 3 sine t. And I think that'll do it for this video. Uh, this is, this video would be found in a differential equations class. And we did four examples of finding the inverse Laplace transform. So, okay, thank you.